Hey guys, welcome to Sokka's Tech Spot. In this video, we're going to be taking a deeper look into super variables. In my last video, I talked about super variables in detail a little bit, uh, but this time we're going to be taking a deeper dive into it, and I'm going to explain conditionals a little more and how you could have dynamic widgets um, on your home screen. So here we go. We're going to go take a look at a ex couple examples I have here. I have a progress bar that I made, a text bar, and a rectangle. So these are pretty basic examples and you guys could use your imagination and build on top of these uh, after we're done here. Should give you a good idea. So um, we're going to start with the rectangle I have here, or square really. Uh, it's a yellow square and we're going to give it some conditionals to change its color depending on a certain status change. So um, the way we do that is we go into our Zooper um, object and we go down here to advanced parameters so here's the, the editing screen for this object and we're just going to go down here to advanced parameters and here we're going to give it a condition to meet and if it meets that condition it changes its color so advanced parameters right here show what you can change on this object so over here you can see the different um, you could change to where it's located on your screen, the X offset, Y offset, um, you could rotate it, etc, etc, but what we're going to do is uh, we're going to change the rectangular main color, which is that tag right there, the C tag, so that's the color. And before we do that, we're going to go ahead and choose a conditional. So uh, there's different conditions here, and each one of these uh, works a little differently, and I'll explain these in detail. Um, so basically, uh, the first one here uh, shows uh, it has a little description right here but I'll give you a different one it says write Z if X is smaller than Y or in other in another sense if X is less than Y write Z which is easier to read because it's from left to right or at least it is for me so we're gonna go ahead and choose that one right now and uh, the other conditions up here you could change the less than to anything you want really you could have greater than equal to uh, the exclamation mark equal um, that together means not equal uh, then you have you know greater than equal to less than equal to and then you have the double ampersand which uh, stands for and and you have the double pipeline for or and uh, I just realized that you can't see it but I'll put a I'll put it in the video so you guys could get a better look at those so we're going to keep it the way it is right now and x, y, and z are the different variables that we want to manipulate. So your x variable is uh, pretty much what you want to uh, set. So let's say um, I, want, uh, I want this dependent on the time of day. So if it's a certain time of day, I want the color to change. So our x variable is going to be, if we come down here, we'll choose date and then we'll look at the local hour in the day and we'll set that to DH and you know what let me zoom in for you guys so let's take a closer look at the formula all I did was uh, I took out the X and I set the DH which is the daytime hour 0 to 23 and I'm gonna make that if it's less than uh, let's say if it's before 5 o'clock so we're gonna put 17 because uh, it's 5 p.m. so if it's uh, if it's not 5 o'clock, if it's before 5 o'clock, we're going to go ahead and set an output. I'm going to delete that dollar sign for right now. I'll put it back. We're going to set the output to change the rectangular color. Let me go ahead and put our dollar sign back. So if daytime hour is less than 5 o'clock or 17, it's the 17th hour in the day, we're going to change the color to, and what we need here is a hexadecimal color. So you could go here to your color chooser and let's set it to a nice blue color. So you can see over here it changes the hexadecimal and you don't want to um, you don't want to choose the color. You just want to take this hexadecimal value. So we're going to copy that. Oh, I hope you guys are seeing this. Let's go back down here. So over here you can see the hexadecimal uh, color chooser and you just want to press and hold, highlight it, then choose uh, copy over here. So we're going to copy that color. We're going to go back. Let me zoom out a little bit. And then we're going to go back here. And between the C tags, we're going to type in, or we're going to paste, rather, the hexadecimal value. The way you know it works is that it'll display uh, the code on the bottom. So it is before 5 o'clock, or where I am, or while I'm doing this video. So it is currently uh, about 333 over there 
and uh, it says here if the daytime hour less than 17 change the rectangular main color we got that variable from the advanced parameters section on the side hit OK and look at that it turned colors it is now blue isn't that amazing and to confirm that it is I didn't set it myself as you can see that I have chosen yellow as the main rectangular color but it is blue because we set the condition uh, to show before 5 o'clock it's going to be blue and that's how you change a simple thing like the color and you could really make it dependent on any other variable you want you have all these other variables to choose from based on weather the battery life which is something we're going to look at now so let's uh, get out of here and let's take a look at something like the progress bar and here we have a progress bar on the top where um, you can make this is the battery level progress bar and you can make it dependent on the percentage of the battery so this is the formula for something like that uh, I hope that's coming out clearly I'll go ahead and zoom in for you guys so here are the advanced parameters for the battery or the progress bar object and what we're using is the foreground color so the foreground is the part that shows you the current level of our battery so we're at 50 percent right now and over here uh, we have the formula if uh, BLEV is less than or equal to 70 it's going to change the color to that color which is red so it is less than 70 and it is a red color so what I'm going to do is uh, it should be white as you can see so uh, otherwise uh, if it's above 70 it's going to be white but you can really change it to meet every level of your battery so if it's 60% it's one color 70% another color etc etc so we're going to go down here and look at that real quick and we're going to change BLEV to or not BLEV the uh, less than or equal to we're going to change that to a if it's a uh, greater than yeah let's do that they'll change it back to white I think I just put divide sign yeah so if it's greater than 70 it's gonna change the color to red so it's not greater than 70 percent it's at 49 percent we just lost a percentage while I was describing that and now it's white because uh, it's not meeting the criteria to change the color to red we're gonna change the background color this time just as an, another example so let's go ahead and I'm gonna do color background that's what CV stands for and then uh, we'll go ahead hit OK. You want to make sure you hit OK or else it won't save. And we're going to choose a color from here. We'll change it to uh, how about pink. Go back and we're going to make the background pink. If the battery level is how about greater than 40? Greater than 40. So as you can see the battery level is greater than 40 it's going to make our background pink and we're at 49 so it's clearly over 40 now a uh, quick warning you want to make sure when you're choosing the battery level uh, you go down here and you see BLEV N you want to make sure it's BLEV N otherwise it's going to use a percentage and it's going to it's not going to work up here in the formula uh, with the percentage so you want to make sure you get the numeric value not the percentage value uh, yeah you guys can see all that I hope it caught that I forgot that I zoomed in so um, there's another example for a progress bar you could use for pretty much anything uh, your time your battery level and it's really dependent on whatever variable you choose down here and uh, that's pretty much it quick example I want to show is uh, how about uh, your charging status so over here I have just a simple text that shows charging but what I have done is I started the text off um, where is it? I started the text off as a uh, a transparent color right here. Let me zoom out here just a little bit. So uh, I have it as a transparent color, and that's because I don't want to show it unless a status changes. So I want to make this text visible, and to do that, I would set the in this case I want to have a charging status. So when it's uh, charging, it'll tell me that it is charging. And over here I have B stat. Uh, n equals 2. So if we click the battery level here, you'll see uh, B stat n sh has different statuses for the battery, and dependent on the number, uh, it shows what status is doing. So uh, the number 2 is equal to charging, number 3 is discharging, 5 is a full battery, 4 is, an, is not charging, 1 is uh, unknown status. So based on those statuses, that's what I'm going to make this uh, dependent on. So over here on the formula, 
I have B stat N equals 2, which means if it is equal to 2, aka if it is charging, then we're going to change the color to white, and uh, that's the hexadecimal color for white. It's already set, it's between the tags for color, um, it's very similar to the rectangle one, except this, you know, changing the text color instead. So I'm going to hit OK, and now you don't see it, but once I go ahead and plug in my charger here, so now I plug in the charger, and it has the charging status showing now. So I'm going to remove the charger, and let's go here, and you see the charging status disappears. It takes a second, it's not the quickest, but it does work, and um, it, it's, it's dynamic. So there you guys have it. I hope this was helpful. I'll have more advanced uh, Zooper variables in the future, and thanks for watching.